Hey everybody. This is an Allied model. AL-A300ATX 300 watt power supply. And this is the same power supply that is in the video about the old 1990 spec P4 power supply trying to run a Pentium 4 system. You can look that up on my channel. And I mean this power supply is not very special at all. I mean in terms of the outputs it's really sorry. Which is the reason why I made a video about it in the first place beforehand. This thing only has 10 amps on the 12 volt rail but yet they deem it, deem it P4 ready. Oh yeah they just they just slapped the connector on a old style ATX unit. That's not really the way to do it. But anyways this power supply has got more problems than just that. This particular power supply, I have I actually have two of these. And I got these out of two server cases that were still brand new in the box in a shrink wrap. My grandpa found them at a yard sale, I think, for like $10 for both of them. So I decided to use these in a refurbished computer because, I mean, they wouldn't be able to run today's hardware if I was to build a server. So I pulled them out and installed them into two separate refurbished systems and of course they've been sitting in the closet for a while because I've been busy and have, haven't been able to have PCs and parts yard sales and haven't had these things on Craigslist in a while I think the last time this power supply was in service was June of this year 2011 and here it is late August 2011 I decided to pull out my refurbished computers to start them up and test them make sure everything's still working and apply the needed updates that sort of stuff and this one with this power supply it didn't want to start so I pulled the cover off and we, if you might be able to notice here we have a failed capacitor more or less this capacitor failed while the power supply was in storage this isn't the first time I've seen this and it's not going to be the last time this blows my mind that these capacitors can fail just from sitting. All you gotta do is put them in service for a little bit. I mean, this power supply is 10 years old, and it, I mean, it never got used for 10 years. And then, as soon as it gets a little bit of use, all you gotta do is put it up in storage, and the capacitors will begin to fail. This power supply has about 12 hours of service on it. As you might be able to notice, there is no dust at all whatsoever inside this thing. And here's another funny thing. Notice the capacitor brand. Rulicon, not Rubicon, Rulicon. It's some Rubicon knockoff. I mean, the name has a different letter, and the capacitors are absolute crap. Rubicon capacitors have a B in the name, and they don't ever, I mean, they rarely ever fail. I mean, it takes excessive heat or, I mean, extreme abuse to make them fail. But this, this unit here have very easy use. I mean, it run a very it ran a very basic Athlon XP computer for 12 hours. And it run a P4 system probably. I guess a few hours of its runtime were in the P4 system, but still, I mean this is ridiculous. So even though this power supply only has about 12 hours of use, I'm going to go ahead and replace these Rulicon capacitors with something else. The other brands in here are Jun Fu, which I mean that's not a very good brand either, but I have pulled some of these out of fairly used power supplies and they weren't bad. I bet these Rulicons, I mean, they fell after 12 hours of use. I mean, that's serious. I mean, that's, there's seriously, there's something wrong here. And I mean, these early Allied Deer units weren't very high quality. I mean, they do have good filtering stages and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, they used an old ATX spec to create what they would call a P4 ready power supply. I mean, this is sad. 10 amps on the 12 volt rail, 30 amps on the 5 volt rail. See, everything's on the freaking 5 volt rail. Old 1990s style spec. Anyways, I'm going to try to fix it up and see how it goes. Any questions or comments? Let me know.